Two other situations where we'll need our basic percent formula concerns sales tax and discounted price. Let's begin with sales tax, a familiar topic for everyone. Example four, suppose you buy a graphing calculator for $90. How much tax do you pay, assuming a rate of 8.25% for Texas? So the tax that we pay is a portion of the total price. So we're using our basic percent formula, A equals PB. The percent is 8.25%, but we're going to rewrite that as a decimal, 0 0.0825. Remember, we just moved the, two, the decimal two places to the left. The total that we paid for the calculator was $90, so we're finding a portion of that whole. Let's type it into our calculator. 0 0.0825 times 90 gives us 7.425. Now, since we're dealing with dollars and cents, remember we round to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. We would end up with 7.43 or $7.43. So we're going to pay $7.43 for sales tax. Part B, then what is the total cost of the calculator? Well, the total cost of the calculator is going to be the price of the calculator, which was $90, plus the sales tax we paid, $7.43. So our total cost then would be $97.43. Remember, we use the dollar sign when we're expressing uh, amounts of money. In addition to the familiar concept of sales tax, Sales prices are also familiar everyday topics. Let's talk about how to calculate a discounted price. For example, let's suppose that a pair of sandals that normally sells for $35 is advertised at 20% off. What is the discount amount? Now, y'all, my kiddos tease me that I will not spend more than $30 on shoes for myself. So let's see if this 20% discount brings those $35 sandals down into my frugal price range. So we're still using our basic formula, A equals PB. The percent here is 20% and the total price is $35. The discount amount here will be A. So converting this 20% to a decimal by moving the decimal two places to the left or dividing by 100, we get 0 0.20, and the price of the sandals is $35. So we're gonna multiply 0.2 times 35 to get seven. So the discount amount is $7. Now, this is similar to the sales tax problem above. We calculated a portion of the whole. That was an additional fee that we added to the cost of the calculator. In the case of the discount price, well, we found a portion of the whole, but to figure out the sales price, I'm just gonna call it S, we take the original price of the sandals, $35, and we this time subtract the discount amount. Notice this is gonna give us a sale price of $28. That's good news. It looks like it's within my budget. I like it. Now we have been using the calculator to evaluate these things. But let me show you a quick trick that you can do so you can mentally calculate these things if you're leaving a tip or if you're shopping and you're trying to determine the amount. To find 10% of a number, for example, if I have $35 and I want to find a quick 10%, 10%, I'm just going to move the decimal one place to the left. So very easily, 10% of $35 is $3.50. But remember, we wanted to know 20%. 20%, I'm just going to double that 10%. So 20% would be 2 times the $3.50 or $7. Another common percent you need to calculate as far as tips go would be 15%. 15% is the original 10% that was very easy to calculate by moving that decimal, plus 5%. Well, 5% is half of 10%. 
So half of $3 is $1.50. Half of the 50 cents is 25. So half of 350 is $1.75. If we add that up, we end up with an easy calculation of 525. You are certainly welcome to use your calculator in notes, homework, and exams. That's just practical tips for when you're out shopping or calculating sales tax, tips, discount prices. 10%, 20%, 15%, they're all easy to calculate in terms of that initial 10% value. Hope that helps.